Well, joining me now is Reg Keyes. His son, Lance Corporal Tom Keyes, was killed in Iraq in 2003. Good evening, Mr. Keyes. Um, why have you run out of patience? Good evening. We are, well, we've run out of patience with Sir John now because we don't feel that uh, the excuse for delays holds water anymore. We, we were told there was problems getting documentation released via Tony Blair with the uh, conversations with Bush. But now it tends to be this maximalization. Well, what we're saying is, for goodness sake, John, that uh, Sir John, the balance now is tipped. It's tipped away from the families and the general public, more in favour of senior politicians, senior civil servants, and senior army figures. It seems to be taking more into account their feelings than feelings of bereaved families. What we're simply saying is, look, Sir John, you've had ten million pounds worth of public funds. David Cameron has offered you extra assistance to try and push the publication forward. Any help you require, it's there, it's on offer. And my understanding is Sir John has refused that help. Now, he needs to put a time capsule on this, um, this maximisation. He needs to say, look, you've got two months to respond. If you don't respond, I'm publishing anyway. And the very fact that he's gone down this route is made it very difficult for himself because what will inevitably happen is those that respond to it will no doubt seek some form of legal aid if they feel they've had uh, slandered, been slandered, or their uh, characters of def character defamation has taken place. And you will get lots of little mini court cases going on within the inquiry, which is totally unacceptable. We feel a reasonable time frame to close this maximisation process, okay. which has been going on for two years. Yeah. People, it does, uh, that's gone on long enough. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. It has been going on a long time. You're absolutely right. I mean, do you basically think he's being far too sympathetic now to the figures who are being named in this inquiry and forgetting rather about the families? Well, absolutely. I mean, there are some b big names out there uh, that will be criticised quite heavily. Sir John, when we first met him, when he was opening up the inquiry, he invited families down. He said he would do a robust, incisive inquiry that would not pull any punches. And that's what we're waiting for. This huge black cloud of Iraq that hangs over all the families needs to be dispersed, needs to move on. We need closure and we cannot get that while this inquiry has not yet found and published its findings. But Mr Keyes, do you really think that even when that inquiry is published, the final report comes out, do you really think that you will be satisfied that you will have got the full story at that point? No, I'm not naive enough to think we'll get the whole truth here because um, there are certain documents that will never be released in my lifetime. The government has put it under the Secrecy Act where I think it's 30 years. They, don't be, they can't not be released to the public domain for 30 years. So um, we won't get the whole truth. Um, we will only get a, a fair proportion of it. But I'm prepared now after this long wait, after nine years, I'm saying to Sir John, look, let's run with what we've got, accept any help that's offered. For goodness sake, bear in mind the bereaved families that have been waiting far too long for this. I'm not naive to believe that we'll get everything, but it, something is better than nothing.